Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking about playing with the springs and this is one of the, the easiest way to change up challenges for your clients as well as alter the exercises to their specific needs. Now the Cadillac is a wonderful place to play with springs, right? There's a variety of different tensions that you can use. There isn't just the heavy, heavy and the light. There's all sorts of things in between and you can even use TheraBands and attach them to all the different rungs on the Cadillac if you really need a super light spring. So be creative, kind of start to think about um, this not just so specifically for um, you know just leg springs or just arms, but you really want to kind of expand uh, this little jungle gym that we have here. Now what we want to do is a little bit of work with the leg, stri or leg springs. So Jen, I'm going to have you bring it up, foot in. All right, perfect. So we have Jen on the lowest rung here, right? So let's watch Jen move. Let's straighten the leg and press down and up and just kind of play with this, Jen. So I want you to look at how Jen's body is kind of digesting this load difference, right? So we're on a light spring on the lowest rung. And you'll see there's some work going on here, but she has this really nice, easy rebound. You know, the collarbones are nice and wide. I would cue a little bit more weight into the left side of her body. But for the most part, this is kind of an unctuous, easy movement for her. There's this nice, like I said, rebound, buoyant effect. Very good, Jen. Now, let's watch when we go up one rung. So here we go to the middle rung. And let's see how the work changes. So already, bingo, she has to think a little bit more about what's happening in her body. Now she already put um, input information with the lighter spring. So now her mind and her body and her, uh, and her neurons are having to adjust to this even slight change in spring tension. You'll see that her, this hip wants to come up a little bit more, so let's find a little bit more grounding in that left side. Yes, much better. She's really having to use much more muscle in the leg. Good, one more time. But it's really fun to see the difference uh, just by moving up a notch. And good, so last one we're gonna do is let's really see how it changes. So this is the highest rung. So there's gonna be more pull on the spring. She's gonna to have to work a lot harder muscle-wise to be able to work here. Yeah, so this is much harder for her skeleton to organize her pelvis because there's so much tension pulling that leg up to where it's hooked. So as you can see, her hip is wanting to go where that spring is attached. So Jen, can you reach your sitting bone? Ah, good, with weight in this side, yes, of your pelvis, very nice. And who cares how big it is? Mm -hmm. Let's keep this pouring and weight into the left side of the pelvis. Better, so much better. And as you get into the heavier tensions, you really might want to shorten the range for them. Do one more. Very good, Jen, excellent. So I'll take this down. So it's really fun within one session to actually go through all of those ranges with the different tensions because what we really wanna do in that first one is find that beautiful buoyancy and ease of movement and then try to keep that intent as you go up the line um, and get into more muscle work. So that's kind of the goal there. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you soon.